Welcome to Your Money Guides, brought to you by Interface Financial Planning. Clients with similar stories. Meet Aaron, Francis, Colin and a few others. As you all know by now, Alan likes to help others with solid, sound financial advice, life planning and by being a friend too. In doing so, he especially likes to assist his clients who want to make the world a better place. If you've been reading his client stories, then you'll find that to date they've been about how Alan's helped to make a difference to their lives. However, this collection of very short stories highlights how Alan's helped his clients to make the world a better place to live in. The way Alan sees it is that if we all care about the future and want to make a difference, then where we invest and what we do with our money can be done so positively and contribute to a better life on our planet for generations to come. Alan's been a member of the Ethical Investment Association and the UK Social Investment Forum for about 20 years. In fact, just a few years ago, Alan wrote his own guide to ethical investment. If you're interested in reading it, then go to his website and download it from the dedicated Ethical Investment webpage or ask Alan's team for a hard copy. On to the stories. Ethical pensions. One of Alan's clients, Aaron, is the chairman of a branch of the local Green Party. He stood in the December 2019 elections and, as you'd expect, he's extremely passionate about ethical issues. This client came to Alan for a financial review and was horrified when he discovered where his pension funds were invested. Luckily, Alan has notable experience in ethical investing, so he could make the changes and ensure that investments were consistent with his values. Since changing over his pension investment some time ago, Aaron has been happily investing in green, responsible ventures. Not only does this make him feel better about where he's investing, but he can attend his Green Party meeting safe in the knowledge that his ethical funds are outperforming his previous non-ethical funds. So you see, there's even more added value to ethical investing. Charities and ethical investing. Amongst Alan's clients, he has a wonderful couple in their 60s called Francis and Colin. Recently, they inherited a significant amount of money. As it so happens, before they inherited, they were already debt-free and lived quite a frugal life that was always supported by their existing income. They'd also had no previous experience in investing and came to Alan because of his ethical investment credentials. Since discussing what to do with their inheritance with Alan, Francis and Colin have invested their funds into a terrific selection of ethical funds. Each of those funds is contributing in its own way to the health of the planet, which gives them tremendous peace of mind. In fact, the couple don't want the income from their portfolio and instead they're contributing it annually to a range of worthy charities. Only recently, Alan completed their estate planning and set up a trust in favour of a discretionary range of charities. Francis and Colin feel so much better that Alan's solved their money problem, as they like to call their inheritance. That's because when Alan met them, they were genuinely concerned that their inheritance couldn't be put to good use. Francis and Colin are so grateful Alan's been there to help them. And for Alan, there's no greater feeling than working with such fantastic people with strong values. Alan also has other clients who've set up educational trusts or eco-environmental projects. For these clients, it's really important to them that their trust monies are invested ethically. Alan would also like to point out the need to feel good about investing applies equally as well as to ordinary investors. He's talking about those people who save into a pension or regularly contribute to an ISA and want to make sure their money is invested responsibly. For these people, looking at the financial return on their investments is insufficient. They're seeking that feel-good factor, which means they want to know that whatever money they have is contributing to a better future for everyone. To close, Alan can do no better than quote one of his new clients, Alice, who is just 32 years old. She recently started investing into a pension, and when she came to Alan, she said, what's the point in investing into a pension if the world isn't going to be worth living in when I retire? We all have to do our bit to save the planet. Alan couldn't agree more. In fact, he was so impressed by his client's passion that he set up her pension without charging a fee. Perhaps that's another small contribution to her future. Thank you. 
For more information, visit our website at interfacefinancialplanning.co.uk. Thank you.